Yo, what's up everyone? Kevin here. Today I'm up at the North Star Terrain Park and sessioning probably the best dance floor box I've ever seen. So we've got this perfect, huge dance floor box and the goal for today is just a spin to win. So just trying to see what's the biggest spin I can do on this dance floor box. Oh yeah, reach it. Reach your right hand to the snow. Yeah, like that. That's the way. is going for 360s on the box and he just said he's gonna go for a 720 by the end of the day yeah i mean i used to do 360s before just gotta get back into it now i haven't done it for many years now so three and then five and then seven three five seven i right. guess just keep spinning until until it stops <laughs> yeah i mean we have the best box in no. the world that's the best box i've ever seen it is it's <laughs> super slippery so it's really nice all right we're gonna session this box today the goal is 720 that's like a hefty goal i don't think i've ever done a 720 in the box before The spins are feeling super good. I think the first thing that's helping me get the spin is thinking about how I'm gonna land on the box. So basically, if you land on the box 90 degrees, then you're likely to spin 180. If you land on it 180, then you can continue on for the 360. And that last one, I try to land 270 so that I had that much more momentum to continue around 540. So how you land on the box will kind of determine how many spins you're gonna get. Yo! I felt better. <laughs> nice! What'd you do different? I think more confidence. So the confidence really just to like go for it too. Yeah, and you know, repetition just is, is the thing, man. Repetition's the thing. So I think you got seven. Five. A five and then maybe seven out or which is a five? No, no, five. Concluding the out. All right, for the 720, I need to think about coming on goofy, coming out goofy, and actually going a little bit slower so I have more time on the box to like get the spin around. So I got the seven around and man, the way I knew it got around is I was actually dizzy when I came off the box. But I think the key was just like coming in a bit slower and having like lots of small turns coming up. Cause then when I came off my heels, I just did like a 270, kept my head looking around and came through 720. Do you got the five? Well, I mean, my, my speed's not that fast anyway. Yeah. I just need to keep wanting to be dizzy. <laughs> yeah. You need to be dizzy. dizzy. Do you see how those turns I did? See how like, it's almost like your turn, short turns will help you make short spins. Nice, okay, good advice. Yeah! Oh, 500! Yannick almost got the 540. He was like 90 degrees away. More spin next time, more, more whip. Yannick, you need the 540. I mean, the 540 was there. It's just that extra little twist. You didn't need it enough. I ran out of room. <laughs> The dance box finished. Oh! Dance floor box is closed. They're giving it a quick rake. Still go for some spins, but throw in some board slides as well. You got a board slide? On these. Oh yeah.
that twist at the end was the, the game changer. Was the game changer, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Spin to win! Is we windowsill? <laughs> I like that expression. I've never heard that before. Windowsill. Yeah. We can get view of air. <laughs> <laughs> Spin to win. Seven next. <laughs> What's the like one thing that does it? Is there one thing that does it? I have no idea what I did. <laughs> I think just the spin, <laughs> head and shoulders. Oh, the head, flick it. Flick it and you can get that twist at the end as well. That's it. So for the key for getting the spin, first it's just having that like hiking the feature, getting to do it over and over again. Then it's coming in with a good approach. So enough turns, the turn actually helps you to create the spin. So like coming off the heel turn and then creating the rotation. Then the next thing that helps is creating the rotation by winding up and then rotating your upper body and shoulders into the spin and really visualizing where you're gonna land and how you wanna come off the box. And then just getting those laps in, and I think, you know, anything's possible. All right, so the plan for this one, let's do 720 dance floor box, 360, the second shorter box. Hopefully I'm not too dizzy from all those spins to, you know, hold it together towards the end. It's like spring vibes out here in the park today. The box line is super nice. Like this is the perfect place to get those like early season tricks going. And if you guys are going for board slides, repetition helps. Um, also just thinking about reaching your backhand and back foot in the opposite direction to really get that twist. For me today, I'm just trying to hold it too. Like hold it right to the end of the box. There's a massive line at the bottom. So like this is the perfect day to hike for tricks. Let's go again. How many, how many more laps do we have? 10? <laughs> 10. Big shout out to the park crew here at North Star as well. They're doing like an amazing job on the feature. If you live in the area, come to North Star, check out the park. It's the best. Yo, let's do a, let's do a switch line. Switch 50-50s the whole way. All right, here we go. Switch 50-50 line. Those Switch 50-50s were fun. They were definitely sketchy like in between, but I'm glad I did it. I think it's gonna help with other tricks, doing more Switch like straight airs and like 50-50s. New trick unlocked. Nice man. Thank you. When was the last time you did a spin on a box? It was about three years ago. Wow. <laughs> I was doing threes on a box, feeling really good, and then just never attempted it again. So first day back and you get to five. Yes. Nice. So cool. This one's for Malcolm Moore, Cloudburst. This is gonna be a fun season at North Star. Woo! Yo, what's up, man? Hey, it's a busy one today. Hey, enjoy it out there. I'll be in one of the videos. All right, we'll see. <laughs> I didn't know it goes this far. Holy. 